Hello guys, this is it. So now I will show you very quickly how you can get a battery indicator up here and also as a bonus, you can also get a time up there. Uh, for example, this is Genshin and you can see at the top left there, you can see the battery and also the time. It might be very small, but I'd like it small. So what you need to do is just install the Revertinus Statistic Server. Usually comes with uh, MSI Afterburner. And then you need to install the hardware info. After you have both, go to the hardware info, go into the setting over here and go to the OSD tab. The RTTS is the Revitalist Statistics Server and OSD is uh, on-screen display. And now that you're here, you just need to scroll down and try to find the battery percentage, charge level. So here under battery, you can see the charge level over here, highlight it and then uh, check this box, show value in OSD and then press OK. And then go back to the uh, Revitalist Statistics Server and then click on setup and then click on plugin double click on overlay editor and then when you just press new the battery should be up there and if you want to add anything else for example i just load for example the mini over here actually mini doesn't have any battery at uh, the time so let's load um classic so you have a time up there so delete everything that you don't need right delete everything so now you have time and you have battery over here so double click on the battery uh makes the margin negative 10 so that there will be no gap uh, at the top press ok now it is flush to the top and then for the time you can make it smaller i make it 70 and then uh i don't want to use uh custom text color so it will become the default color which is orange move it there and then you can just save it as uh whatever oh shoot i did i i just overwrote my classic okay that's bad actually you don't want to place press save you want to press save as because you don't want to overwrite the overlay classic overlay uh don't make the same mistake i did Press save as, you know, press save and then save as whatever name you want, press save. And then so you have saved as test.ovl. You can close the window and then make sure you check, you enable this check mark. Enable this check mark, press OK. And now it should show in your games and it should show in any other programs that uses 3D, I believe. And if you don't want it, for example, you don't want it to show here in OBS, you can go to Revertinia, you can add a specific uh, ex executable files. For example, you can uh, add you know, your games or Genshin, whatever, so that it will only be enabled on that specific program. Uh, this is global, this is enabled in everything. That's why it is also shown in OBS. Basically, that's pretty much it. And I hope this has been helpful for you. And Goodbye. Ta-ra.